Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing well. I want to just come on and discuss something really quickly. And it's this right here, this Miss Sparkling Company uh, All Purpose Stamp Cleaner. It does not say what the ingredients, the components are in here, so I'm not sure. It has a cleaning smell to it. And what I've done, I just poked a little tiny hole right there because it doesn't have, like when you take the lid off, it does not have a uh, like a sponge or anything like that, a dauber. And if it does, I must have unscrewed it improperly. But I like it like this because I just use a wet wipe um, or a baby wipe. And I'm going to show you. I just stamped out an image. And right here. So I'm just going to do a quick, not a comparison, but a review on just this product. Um, versus like, see, this is better than this product or whatever. Because whatever product you like, you can use. So I just stamped this out maybe 30 minutes ago, 20, 30 minutes ago. And all I'm doing is I'm just gently rubbing this on and it comes off really good. Now this is a Prima stamp. So most of the time I have huge success with cleaning them with just a regular wet wipe. Uh, but this is a dry one. I recycle, I, I reuse this as much as possible. I'll use a paper towel and um, clean it like that to um, cut down on waste. But all I'm doing is just taking a little dab, a finger dab. You probably don't even need that much, but I um, prefer to get it all clean as clean as possible. Now, if you have one of those uh, stamp cleaner things that you can scrub, that that's a good thing to use as well. But this stamp, as you can tell, is pretty large and in charge. <laughs> so you see how easy it just comes. In my opinion, it comes up so easy so quick um not too much work to do but this ink has not been setting long i just like i said 20 30 minutes ago stamped it out 30 minutes ago actually stamped it out so the ink is still not set in yet but i like it because you know it's inexpensive it's only two dollars and if you get to sell you know sometimes they only have them for a dollar the miss sparkling company the dollar 99 bin um, sometimes they have everything half off or whatever, so you could get this at a good price. Now, I I know I know of three Joanne fabrics near me, well in my in the area that I live in, not really, but you know I could drive to. One of them is just too far to drive. It's like a little hole in the wall. Joanne's is so small, um, and I prefer not to go there because it's it's just not in my opinion it's not worth the drive. I hope that makes sense. Um, the one that's closest to me, I um, feel like it's worth the drive because it's close to me and they have a price checker. So I don't have to keep going and ask the people, how much is this? How much is this? Because I do like to know how much things are, especially in Joanne Fabric. You know, sometimes you can go in there and they'll have stuff on sale or clearance or whatever. And it'll say it's a clearance price, but when it goes to the register, it rings up regular price. So um, what I've done in the past is I've scanned something that I wanted and I've taken a picture of it to show that the scanner was showing a specific item price versus what the register is ringing up. Um, so, yeah. So you see how easy peasy lemon squeezy that was. Now, it has some little lingering things on there. I'm just going to take a paper towel and just wipe it wipe it off so even with the paper towel wherever you see those little spots it's not much ink coming off on here you know i enjoy that <laughs> a lot but most of the time i use black ink anyway so it's not a huge deal but i want to talk about some of the stamps that i may have purchased from other people and like this stamp right here i've tried to use this on here and it didn't come off that great but as i told you before i really didn't care much for this butterfly hide stamped but I will be removing it from the block one day and putting it on just plain flat surface and using my uh, Tim Holtz platform to um, stamp it out better. And you see how is this yellow? I think I use yellow. So it picks it up really well and I enjoy it. I have purchased more expensive um cleansers i also have made my own and making your own concoction is fun because you have a lot of the household 
items at your house um, and you can do that whatever it's going to save you money and time and headache some people don't even clean their stamps um, I prefer to clean my stamp so you see right here you won't it's going to be kind of dark anyway but in this area we want to focus on cleaning it and as you can see just scrubbing it up some it should all be pink or red rubberish versus um dark so if you notice we, we're getting some ink and of course we're getting some on our fingers so if you see another video from me that have ink on you know where it came from right so uh you know um it does take a little bit of pressure i guess but i'm just rubbing it over gently because i didn't clean this down purposefully i wiped it off a little bit but i was like hey i want to do that joanne uh miss sparkling Clo review i guess i like it i like i said i purchased other one other stamps cleaners in the past and for the price i expected more you know sometimes you get what you pay for in this instance a dollar 99 with a coupon or whatever you use you know even if you only go buy this and use your 60 percent off michael's coupon or your 50 percent off ac more coupon if you have an ac more in your area is worth it so you only get it for a dollar. And then Joanne usually puts these things on sales. I just miss them. So we're just going to rub and see how much you see we have all of that left. So I'm just going to rub that so we can see. And then we're just going to take our paper towel. And if you want to get really, really precise, you can use Q-tips. Whatever you use um, to clean it is what you need to, you know, whatever you want to use. And you see it's just coming off. It was darker than this before, and now it's just coming off, which is really good because, like I said, some people don't clean their stamps, but I like for my stamps to look fairly decent because even if you have haven't used a stamp in three months, for some reason, as soon as you put that ink on there, it reactivates the old ink, and then you get three or four different colors coming through. Um, which is weird, um, odd to say the least. So, yeah, the reason why I like to use the wet wipe versus the paper towel is because if you're rubbing really hard, and I'm just putting a little on there so you can see, if you're rubbing really hard, you know, this is a cheap paper towel. I use the cheap stuff in the craft room and the good stuff in the rest of the house. <laughs> um, it's gonna tear and rub off like it's doing right now. So that's something just to be mindful of. Be mindful of that. But overall, I hope that you'll all give this a, a quick chance. I mean, for two bucks. You see, can you notice it? Do you notice the difference? I hope you do. Um, I like it a lot. Um, and I think it's worth it. Even if you, you know, unless you're sensitive to smell, it does have a smell to it. And it doesn't have a, a odor. Like, it doesn't have an odor. It smells like... Hmm, it smells like a light cleaning. But it also has, like, a sweet smell to it. I can't really describe the smell perfectly, of course. Um, but it smells sweet with a slight hint of cleanser to it. So I don't know what they put in here. Probably something to combat the odor. If you've ever used a stamp, I think it's Stampendous. They have a Stampendous cleaning. Either that's a Ranger one. It's on like a pink. It's a clear bottle with pink label on there. They have a similar smell, like a sweet kind of smell to it. I hope that makes sense. So, we have just cleaned our stamp almost to the full. Um, I don't want to keep you too long ranting and raving over how much I like this. But I do like this a lot. For $1.99, you can't go wrong. So, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've ever used this in the comment section. And let me know how you feel about the wet wipes that they have. I don't like those. They don't clean as well. They don't clean at all. It's like wiping your face with a wet towel. Wet towel does better. Um, until next time, happy crafting.